welcome back initial dweebs happy thursday this week me going to the shop is going to be a little bit delayed surprise surprise i mean no one's shocked that i'm showing up late this time though i have a good reason i'm gonna head up north i'm gonna pick up a couple of pieces for the mr2 from a friend up there who has a parts car so there's a couple trim pieces the the back piece that holds the visor on and a couple of the trim pieces for the door that we're missing and the car's so close to complete that we want to just get those while we can and get everything on the car so that's what we're going to do right now <laughs> everyone we made it all the way up here we hit a whole crap load of traffic it was loads of fun but here's the MR2 it's in terrible shape so we don't feel too bad about ripping all the parts off of it uh, the trim pieces and everything that we needed are all intact and still perfect so we're gonna pull all those off really quick get out the pillar trim so maybe I can have some music in my car and uh, then we're gonna get on our way back down to Olympia so that we can get some stuff done <laughs> All right, so I'm inside the car. It's pouring down rain outside, I'm trying to get all these little tiny eight millimeter bolts out. They're about to move the whole truck and trailer forward while I'm in here so that we can get under the tree cover so that maybe everything doesn't have to get 100% soaked. All right, so it's the one last bolt up here and it just happens to be stuck or turning for forever, broken, I don't know but we're almost done. All right, so that's done. We got all the parts we needed. They're in the back now, and it has stopped raining because we're no longer outside getting dumped on, and why wouldn't it? So we're gonna hop back on the road. Hopefully the traffic has died down just a little bit, and we'll make it back to the shop before it's time for bed. And uh, goodbye to the sad little MR2 who's been sacrificed to the 8-6 gods. <laughs> The next day. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the auxiliary episode of Initial Dweebs. It's kind of a crossover. Sage is going to be figuring out what the fuck we broke on the 4th of July in his car. Uh, Josh is going to be trying to put an axle in his car because he's, you know, as you've seen from the 4th of July video, he's one axle in it. Jam is going to be putting her car, me and Jam are going to be putting her car completely together so we can get it ready for the Formula D car show. Happy boy. Is it though? It works. Is it though? Oh, we're getting it fixed. You better. I might just be like Josh. You better. I might just be like Josh and just put on one axle. Like you gotta weld the diff, dude. Oh, we gotta weld the diff in here. Oh, we yeah. We, we, we got, we gotta weld it too. Let's do it. So guys, fellow online dweebs, check this out. We got a new couch. We got a rug. This area, after we put all this stuff on Jam's car, is gonna be the hangout it's spot. It's your fault. It's your fault. All your shit. Look at all this shit. Look at all this purple ass fucking shit. Why is this shit? What is there? What do you got here? Shit. Show them. Show them. Fancy new steering wheel that's not white leather because I'm tired of not eating Cheetos while I drive. What the fuck? Damn, dude. I'll buy that right now, I say. <laughs> <laughs> so we were having trouble peeling all this 3M tape off. So we got this dumbass idea to put this quarter inch extension on here. Heat up, heating up the uh, the 3M tape, and then we're gonna use this to kind of just peel it off. We'll show you how it works. It's pretty fucking crazy. Boom, dude! And then you just peel this off and keep going. I'm over here working on some of the things, buttoning up the car, getting it ready to go to the car show for Formula D. We just want it to look perfect. I'm trying to get the headlight buckets and headlight bucket covers and all that good stuff on the front of the car. And the battery's not in it right now, so there's this handy dandy little lever on the back here that helps you crank up and down the pop-ups. Takes a little while, but it does work. However, passenger side here, the lever back here just doesn't turn. I think what happened was when the car was stolen, um, somebody may have sat on the headlight or something while it was popped up, which is a big bummer. The side's broken and probably wouldn't work even if the battery was in there. 
I'm gonna have to just put in a little bit of extra arm strength and work this thing up. It's impossible to turn. Like, <laughs> but it's all gonna be worth it in the end, right? All right, I'm gonna take her coil over off and I'm going to pull a couple rings out and lower it as far as it could go. I did this side already, so I'm gonna do the other side. Jam is putting her new NRG wood grain steering wheel on there. I had to take a break from putting the shrouds on the headlights because I can't find the bolts and it makes me want to go insane and injure people, so I had to walk away. for my front driver's side. Front, obviously front. So I needed a new fender for my driver's side. So right now, Justin is fitting the flare onto that fresh fender because we're gonna have to drill holes in it. I mean, we already cut a big chunk out of it, so it's not really that big of a loss at this point, but still I'm cringing hardcore, hoping that we don't chip any of the paint. Justin is back there, retrofitting the front lip to try and see if we can make it work. The front lip is actually from a Mark 1B. My car is a Mark 1A with a lot of Mark 1B parts. Oh, he just said, oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. He fucked up. Okay. So we're going to ignore the fact that he said, damn it, I fucked up. So, <clears throat> this front balance has been put on with a little L bracket here in the center. Try and hold it together. And then that front lip is going to be retrofitted around it, but the front lip doesn't quite fit. It's not right. So we're cutting a few small chunks out of it. It's not going according to plan, but nothing ever goes according to plan. You just have to roll with it. So wish us luck and hope it fits. All right, guys. So we uh, pulled the plug out of my diff, and there was a bunch of metal shavings. So what I'm gonna do is drive down to Portland and buy myself a new diff for 200 bucks. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, Justin, Jam, Aaron, they're all just kind of working on the the MR2. And Josh, he's actually on a mission. Uh, to Aberdeen, which is about an hour away, to get new axles for his S12 because he actually bought S13 axles. Yep. So, yeah. So I am driving to Portland. Uh, Josh is in what? Aberdeen. Yeah. Aberdeen. It's gonna be a long night, especially initial for me. Dweebs. Road trip. Whoa! Initial dweebs. Road trip. Ah. Ah. All right. I apologize, guys, but my phone died. So while it was on the charger, I did some crazy ass shit. Mark one or Mark 1B lip on a Mark 1A front balance. It's hard to do, guys. <laughs> um, so basically, it doesn't fit at all. No. So I had to trim the lip right here. Let's see if I can make it focus. So right here, I had to trim this whole lip out around here to fit around there. I bolted the lip to a spot right here. I had to trim it also on this side, all the way around here, trimmed it. And then there are tabs in here that I also trimmed off that used to be the bolts. So there's screws here. There's 30 pound Gorilla Tape, double sided tape here. It's bolted to the valance here. Gorilla Tape here, and then it's also screwed in here. So it's super sturdy, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, she's got this cool ass lip on there. It's good that it's and not going anywhere. 
because we're about to drop the front a little bit lower. Yeah, so, so yeah, we got the side skirts on. We got the back. The stance is perfect on the back. So now what we're going to do is lift the front and we're going to lower it down to match the back. Got to get rid of that wheel gap, guys. But it's looking super proper. Almost everything is, is back on this car. So it's kind of surreal seeing it like this. And the front end of this car has never looked this good. So it's pretty crazy. Hell yeah. I don't have a project right now. I have an actual car and it's blowing my mind. <laughs> All right, look at it. Just look at it. It, look at it. looks like a complete look car. At look, at it. look at this fitment, though. Look how crazy this is. I mean, we're gonna have to tweak it because right now it's undrivable because it's basically touching, but it's towed in really bad. So if we're able to pull the toe in, it should be, or the toe back out, it should be able to run without rubbing. But yeah, this is it right here. I mean, we still have to put the gurney flap on. Uh, the visor needs to be secured properly. Front bumper needs to be secured. The front bumper needs to be secured properly. Just little tiny things there left to put on, but besides polish that, up. yeah, and then we're gonna polish, clean it, put the uh, windshield banner on there. But yeah, look at this, guys. It's this. It's been such a crazy journey from uh, where it was. The champagne turd that it was before. Yeah, last year, and now this is what it looks like, and it's just kind of surreal and then the lip I'm so proud of getting this lip on there because it's not supposed to go on there and we did some shit yeah and then Sage right now so Sage he got back from Portland with the R200 He's sitting over there on the the desk it's like and one in the morning we're pulling uh it's got to be like closer to two in the morning now right 145 145 so yeah like he's pulling the diff and then so we can put the new diff in by next Thursday so we can get out to Formula D car show. So if anybody is going to Formula D, we'll be there. Bro, Come say what up. Seattle, Washington, July 19th and 20th. 20th yeah. is the car show. Yeah. 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 We're going to be partying in the campground. So say what up. The next day. What's up, everybody? Day two of getting this MR2 going. Uh, Jam is at home with the baby, so Aaron and Josh and I are here to crush this shit. We have this dope Speed Haunter, pretty funny pun, uh, windshield banner that we're going to be putting on, and we're going to be raising that side a little bit and throwing miscellaneous other pieces on the car that we need to. So that's what we're going to be doing today, so let's get after it. <laughs> Accomplished Speed Haunter turned out really good. So the banner actually doesn't fit the curvature of the window. So you can see this line here. It's real. It's not really noticeable off camera, but we had to do a little bit right there. But yeah, it looks really good, guys. So we're gonna move on to the next thing. We're gonna jack the car up and lift it on that back corner, and then we're going to scuff and paint the front tow hook bar and install the gurney flap. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, next up, we're gonna attach this gurney flap. It's a BMW M3 gurney flap to this wing. So that's what's coming up next. Let's do it. Ooh. All right, guys, there it is. The gurney flap is on. It looks so good on these cars. Look at this. This, from this angle. Pretty cool. All right, so that's on. The rear visor's on. Now we're gonna lift that side of the car. 
We're gonna lift it so it matches the rest, and then we're gonna sand this bomber bar down and paint it black. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. We got everything on there that we can get on there today. The only thing left to put on this thing is like front bomber bar. And besides that, next Thursday we'll be polishing this whole thing up and taking any care of any other spots we missed buffing. And that's about it. So that, look how good this looks. It's like so crazy how this looks. Oh yeah, we cleared, we uh, restored and cleared the taillights. So we put clear coat on the taillights. Uh, we got the gurney flap on. And uh, yeah, so we did a lot today. All right, everybody, that is a wrap. That's it. So much stuff happened on this car. We're going to catch you next Thursday when we do the final unveiling and then we start driving it down the road and get it all polished up. Yeah, yeah so it's kind of surreal. And, uh, thank you guys, uh, 370 subscribers. Thank you for being with us. And uh, okay. we'll keep going up from there. So like and subscribe.